I'm doing research on Sully County, South Dakota. Sully County is an area that was being settled by a, 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 a black family um, that was moving into South Dakota and was making a settlement for, for black people all over to come and be a part of. And some of the, some of the, the literature and books that I've been coming across to just kind of do some research on. Um, Crystal Fleming wrote uh, How to Be Less Stupid About Race. John Ravage wrote about black pioneers, images of the black experience on the North American frontier. And then we got Forgotten Lives, African Americans in South Dakota by Betty Van Epps Taylor. These two particularly, <clears throat> because this is right in the Midwest, in that area, where we're looking to get that information about Sully County. Has some fascinating information, fascinating history in here. The wealth of imagery in, in this book, so I definitely encourage anyone to uh, check it out at your local local library. The Black Westerners. <clears throat> we out here. So make sure you check that out when you get a chance. And forgotten lives. This this is the one here. So this don't have a lot of the imagery as the Black Pioneer book does, but it has a lot of South Dakota history. Cowboys and ranchers, look at that. You got the members of the Grand Lodge at Prince Hall Masons, 1956 in Sioux Falls. South Dakota State Historical Society, um, <clears throat> which I just uploaded a video about that visit there not long ago. And up here you got a Ku Klux Klan in the 1920s out in Rapid City. Black Cowboys is a real thing. Cleveland Abbott. So as you can see, there's a whole, whole lot of history. James Beckworth, one of the first recorded African Americans in the West. So, make sure you get these books to your, uh, your local library.